Okay, here we go. Uh, good morning. Um, so I have a flashing uh, mileometer, well, miles, and I've also got on my seatbelt light and my airbag light by the look of it, and I am wearing my seatbelt. I'll just disconnect it. So the other thing I'm thinking of, maybe, handbrake light, that goes off. So it's either the wire underneath the seat has come loose, which I'm going to have a look at now. That's weird. Okay, okay. so behind here, which I'll take out now, is the two connections for, well, I think one's for the seatbelt and the airbag, but I think the seatbelt does the same one. We'll have a look. Oh, there's another one. Nope, that's it, just that one. So I'm going to disconnect this and then reconnect it because I've got an error. On my dashboard which i think i've shown you previously which is the uh, airbag if it's not that and then i've looked online and this floor panel here has got to come up uh, and in that corner over there behind that underneath that little screw thing there's another box which you've got to get out and send it away i'll let you know so i just push these two together that unclips it let me have a quick look it looks like that I'll pull that down it should come apart okay so retract that it comes apart i'm just looking for any debris in there or any doesn't look like it does it can i get a clean view mm, it's also right. a connector that goes to the um seat belt clip so i'm going to take the panel off and have a quick look at that and then disconnect that put that together see what happens Two crosshead screws. And one. Where are we? One there. And one there. Okay, sure that comes off. I just try to pull it off. I don't really want to pull it off if it doesn't. Uh, if it causes a problem. Okay. Um, let's give it a go. I have to take the other one apart and put that back together. The next thing is lift that floor up. So I push the seat belt in a few times uh, just to make sure that clip's working, which it is. But I don't know if it's faulty inside there. I don't know if it's registered or it. But let's wait and see. Let's have a look. I'll, I'll let's see what happens. Okay. Mission comes on. Wipers off. They've also said it could be low battery. Nah. There we go. It looks like they're flashing, but they're not. They're stable. There you go. Okay. Looks like it's going to be um, the floor jobby. And I've been told that you can send them away, and it's about a, it depends on what's wrong with it, that it can range from 70 to... Um, see, I've also got that as well, look. It's flashing myelometer, or whatever you call it, yeah. A bit weird. I'll put the seatbelt in, nothing happens, I'll show you. Okay, there we go. Clunk, click. Nothing. So the next thing to do before I take up this floor, what I might do is just um, disconnect the battery. Then I get back, you just nip it out. So everything still works, there's no, it doesn't go into limp mode or anything, it does seem to work. And this part, so I'll show you, I'm just gonna waffle on. So there we go, floor will come up, and I'll show you where that part is, and we'll, um, I'll give them a ring actually, I've got their number. Uh, and if it works and we get it all back, I'll leave that number in the description down below. Right, so we uh, catch in a bit. So plug the diagnostics in there. This is Jamie. <laughs> so Trying to get me... some communication. Yeah. <laughs> because you might not, it's, it might come up with saying that uh, the communication is, uh, you can't get a communication. Hey, to get the floor up, just turn these tabs with a coin. They've got little flaps underneath, so that's it. And then just... And then we get to the floor. I'm going to hoover this first, and I'm going to show you where that part is. Okay, so this is your main battery housing. This is for your engine battery. Is here, if you want to know that. I would like to keep it nice and clean. i just give it a bit of a wipe out. That means I can read the stuff properly, and if I need a new battery, well, I just undo these terminals here, take this off, get a new battery. Anyway, that's beside the point. That's the bit we're looking for him there uh, held on it looks like with a 10 mil or a 50 i can't see properly and the unit i want let me put some light on 
I can. And that's what we're after. One of those. I'll come in the other side. Okay, so there we go. Oh, if I get this in like this. So I rang the chap. I'm gonna take a picture of that if I can. So I rang the chap, and what he told me was, I think I've, I've said in the video previously. Um, he said, yeah, um, go to the garage for your own peace of mind, get a, a test done. I did that. Uh, they couldn't talk to it. it. It just wouldn't acknowledge that it can, it can talk to the, it couldn't talk to this, to the ECU in the engine. So I rang back and told him this. He goes, yeah, no problem. Send it in. Be about £100. And he goes, so he knew exactly what it was. Oh, there we go. So next thing is, I'll just show you quickly how I take it out. And we've got, I don't know if I've got to get this front cover off. It looks like I might have to. But it's just a screwdriver. That's it. No problems. To release go. the modules, what you need to do is just push on that little grey bit there. See it? That little bit there. At the same time, pull that module back and it releases it. Sorry for the... And there we go. And we've got, it looks like... A 12 or a 10 mil. Can you see that one at the back? And one this side and one at the back there as well. So you've got three to get out. Okay. Two screws, one each side. Just take them out, one there. It just takes a little bit of easing out, but it does come out. There we go. That makes it the module more easy to get to. 10 mil. Okay, three screws, 10 mil spanner. You can do with a long reach one. You want a long neck, goose neck, to get to that last one. But apart from that, it's okay. And there we go. I'll send it off and uh, we'll go from there. And uh, yeah, well, I won't finish the video till we get it back. I'm back uh, through the post yesterday and uh, unrepairable. Just a little sign. I didn't charge me. And look, I thought it would be a bit funny when I sent it off without any codes. If you've got a code, I would say it's probably more likely repairable. This isn't, uh, I don't know what my next step is. I think I'll just look online and probably just buy a, a new one or uh, I think they're about 260 quid and you need it anyway for my next MOT. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will put uh, the number and the address in the link down below for you guys um, if you want to send yours off to him um, he sent it straight back no problems whatsoever no charge which is really nice of him okay take care and we'll catch you definitely in the next video